Hey everyone, hope you are all doing great. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to look into two companies that have come from our subscribers. Both are into mainly automobile industries making types of films. But before we move on with the video, just want to let you know that Infosys has given the results today and the ADR has gone up by 9%. ADR is nothing but the stocks that are being traded in US. Okay, so in, that's in simple terms. If you look at this, the stock was trading here at $20 yesterday after the results. Today now it's trading 9% higher at $22.30. And if you look at this, the volume profile right here sitting. So once it breaks this range, okay, it is going to come to this range, which is another 10% rally from here. So today there is a high possibility that Infosys will raise 8 to 9%. And post that we can see another 10% rally if the momentum continues okay so that is how infosys is going to play now moving on with the r stocks the two companies that we are going to focus today is garware high tech films the second one is premier polyfilms both companies came from our subscribers since both companies are into automobile industry producing films i grouped them and i am creating this video both company is really well managed look at the stock price the stock price is into multi-year compounding pattern even polyfilms the stock price is into multi-year compounding pattern in the last five years the stock has given 10 times returns five years back it was 20 rupees today it is 218 if you start with 1 lakh and every five years if you make 10x in 10 years your portfolio will become 1 crore so that is the power of 10x you just need two companies in two five years you can convert 1 lakh into crores rather than trading every day okay so keep that in mind that is the power of compounding. Now coming to Gare or high tech films, the promoter holding is really high. Bottom line growth is very predictable and it is compounding time after time. That is why market is recognizing the share and it is in a compounding pattern. Look at this. The stock is compounding because the bottom line is compounding. Next year, we will know what the company will make. Company will make somewhere around 1850 to 1900, somewhere in this range and the profit after tax will be around 300 crores. Based on that, the stock will actually evaluate what it will be worth today. So that is how market will predict the future. And coming to the balance sheet, the company don't have any debt. Company is literally debt free and even the promoter holding is very high, which is at 61%. Most importantly, the stock is trending. It is trading close to all time high. Remember, overall the market is a bit overvalued, so you have to be really careful on where you are entering if you are buying the stock based on the information provided in this video. Make sure to double check with your financial advisor or try to do your own analysis, okay? Now there are two patterns here. One, the stock can break this all-time high, it can go up. In this case, you can buy here, write the momentum, write the trend. Or the other pattern is, if it doesn't goes up, becomes loose and if it falls there is going to be a consolidation range wait for that consolidation range and then take a position if you are buying this okay so that is how the stock will play this is on garevar itech films now the company manufactures all kinds of films if you go to the company's website if you go to the business you can see the different kinds of films that they are manufacturing all of them are self-explanatory you can just go and check and get more information if you want now moving on with premier folly films this is also a kind of company, but they make different kinds of films. So these are all the type of products that the company is making. PVC flooring that you see in the railway coaches, leathers that are used in the car seats, and then film sheeting, wallpapers, liners. And what impressed me most is, look at the clients. These are all the index heavyweight clients, blue chip clients of India in automobile space. Why would companies like this make business with a small company? You need to think in that way, okay? Moving on to the products, you can see all the products which are like they have given in the screenshot also. The promoter holding, the promoter holding is really high. ROC is really high. ROE is good. EPS is good. Profit after tax is good. It is predictable. Similar with that of Garevar High Tech Films. Company don't have any debt at all. Most importantly, the stock is in multi-year uptrend, okay? That these are all the important things that you need to see. Now, if you look at the bottom line, the reason why the stock is like compounding time after time is because of the predictable bottom line. 4, 5, 5, 8, 9, 10, 14, 19, 22 and 34. Next year, the company might be making 40 crores. Based on that, what will be the share price? The market will try to predict and it will push the price. This is how the valuation will be done. So the more predictable pattern is 
the more the chart pattern will be predictable okay so that is how you need to see between this if i have to invest in a compounder my choice will be gareva high tech philips but if i am looking for a capital appreciation in a faster manner i will go for premier polyfilms because the company is small company that gives a better scope for growth a room for growth okay so that is how i will validate both the companies both the companies are really good both the companies are to be held in portfolio they will multiply the capital time after time but the problem as a retailer is we have only limited capital and that has to grow faster so we need to keep all these things in mind when we take investment decisions all right that's all for this video i'll meet you again in another video take care bye bye